I remember Ian saying to me on a number of occasions, it's like, this feels like I've said everything I wanted to say in terms of, you know, on the, on the previous four records, and this feels like a brand new start. We had a whole new team in place, you know, Luke is fully on board and brought a, a new energy to the band, so it was really exciting to make and yeah. very proud of it. I guess it was different in that way, in that we didn't have a strict regime or strict guidelines to follow, like, with vibe. Do you know what I mean? It was just right. You know, there's a certain aggression in there, you know, or whether it's a defensive aggression or whether it's kind of, you know, an antagonistic aggression. It's, 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 it's definitely something proactive in the word weapon. It's charged. You know? yeah. Yes, ch yes, charged. And, um, and that whole context and that whole kind of ethos behind just the word weapon Whatever it conjures up in your head is what we wanted the music to sound like. It was amazing, though. First time we've done anything like that, you know, choreographing 17 people in a full minute's worth of fighting in smoke and, and lights. I mean, that's especially when you've had no stunt experience at all. So for us to do what we did in the short period of time that we did, you know, it was just a brilliant experience. Yeah, the great thing was we had a, a, a good team. That video came together really, like. It's always, really it's always well, nice yeah. to get like a get like a young, someone who's enthusiastic, a young new director like JJ who did it, you know, who's has got, got a passion, you know, like still got a you know a passion for doing it. So I think he definitely brought a lot to the table. Everybody in the band has kind of had different influences, but um, but it's always been like a common thread. We know somebody's going to bring this to the table when we're writing and somebody else is going to bring something else and that's always been the way but it's um, I'm not saying it's easy though because I mean we're six there's six creative people in the band we're, we're whilst we're very passionate so what tends to happen with the record is if there is any sort of pull the record ends up being in the middle but that's not to say it's the middle ground as in it's a compromise it's it's like what you get on the record is like the nucleus of the the atom we generally you know, don't so argue energy. yeah we generally don't argue so much when we're actually writing songs the arguments generally come at the end when we're deciding which songs to put on the record. Or which songs to take off. Or which that's, songs to take off. That's, that's mm -hmm. usually when, when, when we have disagreements. Yeah. Playing Arsenal, the second single, was mad because right from the off, like, kids just got on it live, you know, got on the hook line or whatever. Like, you know, even in the early shows when the album had only been out a few weeks, you know, kids were straight on it and, and it was it was awesome because that was kind of our intention you know with that song to have a song that kids can get on the chorus straight away and so you know it was uh, seeing a strong reception from that song live was really good you know. Yeah, it's always good when you tour and some of your new songs you know from your new album go down as well as some of the older ones that you've been playing for like you know eight ten years or whatever. And, yeah. and We've noticed as well with the audience uh, you know we've been doing this like 12 years as, as this band you know there's still people getting on board with this new record, you know, when, when you see the crowd, you've got the people who have been there from Fake Sound, so there's people like our age that are in the audience, but then you've still got a ton of people that just got involved because they've heard weapons, and that's all across Europe, you know, so there's still a young audience, which kind of feels really good to, you know, that we're maintaining ourselves as relevant and, and yet still appealing to our older fans, so. And because we'd listen to Duran Duran and Megadeth at the same time, you know, and like Police and Metallica, and and, and I remember mean, being in like a, a car boot sale or like what are they called over here, a swap meet yeah. or something like that, and I picked it up and it's like a Duran Duran live bootleg album called Lost Profits, and it was like, it's a sign. Pop music back then wasn't it? Pop wasn't a dirty word, you know what I mean? It was like. It was popular because it was That's it was poop. genuinely good. It was just like we were we grew up on this and this and and those influence came, uh, influences come through in our music. I think. Yeah.